Hello everybody and welcome to episode 26 of Perusing for Platinum. Uh, it is currently the 3rd of February, year 422. Uh, yeah, can somebody give me a rundown of what happened last time? Yeah, oh, sure. I can. <coughs> um, go for it. I don't care. Should I do it? Yeah, I need 30,000, so let's go for it. Yeah, I'm pretty close in fighter level. Um, Alright, so last time the party started on the road and um, was trying to find the place that they had been told about by the adventurers that they defeated in combat. Place where a dungeon is supposed to be that holds great treasure. I think so, you're forgetting something. What? The adventurer residence heroes of the land. Yes. Yeah, but those were like free sessions before, and those were level one dudes. Those were not the same. Oh, right, that that was different, right? Um, worth so then. yeah, worth remembering for sure. So the party was northbound with uh, greed in their eyes and uh, salivating at the mouth at the promise of treasure. Um, they had one random encounter. I think it was one of these flying lion things again. Um. We killed that, and we knew we can't animate it, so we just left it to rot. But I think, if it, uh, apart from that, the journey was somewhat uneventful. Uh, yeah, passed by somewhat uneventfully. And then, at some point, the party arrived at a spot where there seemed to be like a grave hill or something like that. Something like it was a gravesite, like a small gravesite like, with like a door. Um, the party was like, you yeah, know, might as well investigate. So we entered and. Within that hall, we saw, I think, a total of two sarcophagi um, standing vertically, lined up around the perimeter of the room, and a big rug in the middle of the room. And party checked the sarcophagi. There were corpses inside, but no treasure or anything like that. And also, they didn't seem to animate and kill us, so that was good. The party then discovered that under the rug there was a trap door that led into the depths of a dungeon. So before heading down there, Korgag used his animate death spell to grab three zombies that they can use as meat shields to trigger traps and things of the like. So the party descended the ladder hatch um, with three zombies in tow and um, were, you know, squaring like triggering a few traps zombies took care of that we like some pressure plates and we were fighting like a bunch of skeletons and those were pretty easy zombies almost like single-handedly defeated them was a big a bit of a slugfest zombie versus skeleton um but eventually the party found a different room and um in that room there seemed to be a total of i think nine waves is at least what we Something what like I remember, that, yeah. what we suspected, That's something like that. So the party was um, a little bit disheartened at that site, and without all their spells and all the resources available, decided to tactically retreat for the moment. Um, yeah, and they went back back upstairs and were discussing whether to, you know, regather their strength and go back, or whether to dip out entirely. And um, that's pretty much where we left off. Awesome. And so, uh, without any further ado, you all find yourselves outside of the dungeon. It is a kind of forested area out here. There's lots of trees, there's lots of bushes and things like that. Uh, but, within, but you are also within eyesight of the warm, unforgiving desert. That mm. lies just beyond the tree canopy. This is like the transition zone to Lillian. Lillian, which is like forest, right? Yes. You are correct. So, <laughs> what do you all do? Well, we have to at least sleep a day, right? To get everything, like, spells back? Yeah. yeah. Can get some spells back. Head down there, kill those waves, get the loot. Sounds good. I didn't see any loot in that room. There's bound to be loot somewhere. Yeah, but we could avoid that room for now. 
We don't need to five raids at the moment. If any of them were were to wander, it's unlikely that all nine of them would come to us at once. Yeah. Can check the other rooms first. Sure. Yeah. You if it does come to it, do you have a plan for dealing with them? Any spells that could help? Could raise a couple skeletons, meat shields, grab them down. Just ignore them. Use the horn of blasting. Uh, that's a good one. It's about all I can think of. And then. What about any negative flame protection? <laughs> protection from evil? Uh, Something like that. <laughs> Let me consult my spell list. <laughs> I'm doing the same. I don't think any of my spells work on that. Yeah, I don't yet. think we have any spells for it, so it's literally just the horn blasting and... Um, what sphere are those in... Protection. Sounds like projection. Projection I do not get, but are they in other spheres as well? That's the... Um, interesting question here. I don't think so. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Well, I see them in protection. Maybe some of them are in all. <clears throat> nope. No. They are not. Any mm. necromancy? No. A negative plane protection is in necromancy. Yeah, okay, I get that. Um, Alright, how does that actually do? How does that work though? Hold on. I spell the last you're immune to uh, partial protection. No, you get a saving throw versus, versus death. death in order to negate a a negative energy attack. So like uh, the wraith's attack. So you get an extra save basically. You get a save versus death, and then the save versus. Well, the and also the undead that attack you suffer two d six points. That's insanely good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And, even if they hit... Oh no. No, ignore me. But it only protects against one such... One attack, yeah. <clears throat> Which only is still good. Attack? I can precast that on all of us, it has no yeah. duration. However, if you fail your saving throws, you take double the normal physical damage. That's not the yeah. issue. The issue is the D level. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, like that D8 damage, that's not the issue. issue. Physical damage is like D4 or some... whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, how many level 3 spells do you have? 3. Could cast it on all of us. <clears throat> the day before I could create my maximum allowed number of, like, skelly boys with yeah. animate deaths. <clears throat> I don't think that, like, I'm pretty sure the skeletons are going to be useless because they're just going to be ignored. I, I doubt they will go for the skeletons. And the skeletons can't hit them. Skeletons cannot hit them, that is true. But if we find something with... Or plus one hit dice or higher, I could animate that and that could hit them. Mm. There was nothing down there. Do you want to look around here maybe for some sort of animal and do that? Could do that, yeah. I mean, we need something pretty much precisely between four plus one and six, right? So, uh, actually, let's do this. Why don't you just... Do you need your level three spells or can you could you just cast like negative play protection on us tomorrow I when we go in? I think the only other really useful spell on that level would be prayer. Hmm. But yeah, I can just cast three negative plane protections. But uh, the way I read negative plane protections, I could even do that the day before. No, it lasts one turn per level. Really? I don't see a duration. It's says special. Like the, the last sentence, uh, second last sentence. The protection lasts for one turn per level. Of oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Spell, True. Okay. Or yeah. until the yeah. protected creature. No, so, yeah. I, I, I think. But I think it's this. fine to lock. I think it's fine to lock those three in for the day we're doing it. So. Yeah, like for the day that we're doing exploration. Like uh, I'm saying, we we don't we don't do the raids now. We do we like check the rest of the dungeon, but we still probably should have <laughs> negative protection cast because maybe <laughs> one of them might wander, or that we might just find more. So unless you have any other spells that you think are good for level three, I think you just cast it on all of us when we go in. We yeah. check everything that is in that room, and then we come out and we go and look for a monster that we can reanimate. That we can raise. Yeah. That sounds like a plan to me. Um, scare probably doesn't work on undead, right? Well, no, it does. Yeah, it does. We did it before. I think it does. Yeah, none of my level 1 spells do. What do you have for level 1? Uh, friends, charm person, hypnotism, read magic, and sleep. Yeah. 
Uh, and then my level 3, I have Monster Summoning, it's probably the best. Fire Flow would, it won't do anything. Monster, mon yeah, monster, summoning, monster Summoning is good provided that you can get something that can hit them. I guess Meat Shields are always oh, That good, would whatever. work under the rates too, because like those things are like living, so they've raised my yeah, you go for yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. I agree. So it doesn't even I matter agree. if you do hit them. It's like, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's just that they will ignore an undead for sure. It's just that they won't ignore Oh, also, them. I can get invisibility to undead, like, as much as we need to. Oh, right. That's a level one spell. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, how long does it last? Is it only six rounds? Yeah, six rounds. But flat? I mean, I can cast, like, no, five of them. Uh, well, sure. Maybe we can have... Um, so we cast negative pill protection on each of us, and then like whoever is opening doors has invisibility to undead, and everybody else is like the corridor. Yeah, probably the would probably be you because you gain the most out of a like surprise plus four attack. Sure. Should I just go dual wield then? Um. Sure. I mean, you have the proficiencies for it, so might as well. Yeah. I really wish I had CJ's plus three sword for that. It's pretty unlucky, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could be using a flame blade, so if you wanted to, I could give you the mace. Well, the... I have a plus one sword. Or I could also oh, give you the one battle offense. axe plus two. I, I have a plus one offense, so it's still better, because I get my high mastery and master with it. It's a long sword. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, I'll give you the, the big shield then. Mm hmm And uh, I'll... Um... Go with two swords. I have a plus four in my main <coughs> hand, plus one in my off hand. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I My AC is only have a good 17 here. now. Yeah, well, I mean, I, hopefully the monsters... Do we make it to the next day? I will tank, tank them, so... Let's, let's do plan. that first. Like, do we actually make it to the next day? Yes, nothing comes for you in the night. It is nice. smooth sailing. So, yeah. I'll, um... Cool. Okay, so let me grab my spells. How many invisibility undead, two undead do we want? Do we want like two, three? Maybe like uh, three, because if it's six minutes, we can probably check two rooms with each one. Uh huh. Yeah, sounds about right. Do we what? care about kill light wounds at all, or are we thinking uh, damage doesn't matter? I think maybe like just get one so you can like res people. But, like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, one would be good. Yeah, okay. Um, so let me cook up my spell list. Maybe two, I don't know. But like one or two, not no more than that. I don't think. Now I'll get like one kill light and one kill light. Yeah. <clears throat> I also, I have a potion on me. I don't know who else has potions. Um, I have the Horn of Blasting, which I intend on using. And I have a Squall of Speak with Dead, which I don't think will do anything here. And apart from that, I don't really have anything in terms of consumers. I do still have that amulet, but we have no idea what it does. I kind of, like, I kind of suspect it's just, like, protection from fire, but... We don't know. Yeah. Um, let me check if I have anything else that's useful in the level 1 department. And I could always precast Bless, that would be an obvious one, but... Actually I can't, because I don't have Holy Water, I only have Unholy Water. Uh, I think I have Holy Water. In the fucking... Yeah, I have 4 vials. Yeah, so no, I could no, no, I have I have one water skin, sorry. Uh, not four vials, one water skin. Which I don't know how many vials it is. Uh-huh. Yeah, Vial I mean, I could... a quarter pound, the water skin holds three pounds, so it should be twelve. Well, I think it's two pounds of liquid, though, not three. Because it's like one pound empty and three yeah. pounds full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, eight. So, eight vials. I don't think Featherfang ever used any of it, so I think it's full. Hmm. Right. Can I get a confirmation from Ironic? I think so. I think I don't think it was ever used. But you don't have any vials, so you're just gonna be like squirting it or something. It's not for throwing, like right? It's, it's for just bless. For my spell. Oh it's for bless, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a material component for bless. So Yeah, you got Can it. we just uh, can we just assume that he has eight castings of bless done with it? Yeah. So yeah, I'll give it to you, just put it on your character um, sheet a little bit. Ironic, one thing. Mm-hmm. So if you have temp HP and you get hit by a level drain attack, that doesn't like fully consume your temp HP. So basically, it all gets absorbed by the temp HP. Would you say that you still get level drained? Hmm, that's a good question. I think you do. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. 
I would argue it depends on the on the nature of the temp HP. Well, aid. Yeah, I think I think that wouldn't because that aid is like protecting you before you get hit. But for example, I know that's why I'm asking like, um, everyone in Kosi he sees it. Yeah, I don't know. I think it depends I could on like the nature. See it either of way. For example, like for false life in um, uh, what's it called, Sam's game, I would say it does because that's not increasing your life. It's just like taking it from the opponent. Yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading aid, aid like, right now. I don't know. It's up to you. I can see a case for both. Yeah, both both have good arguments. It is a necromancy spell by the book, in uh, so maybe it doesn't. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's a necromancy spell. I don't think that it would protect you from level drain. The operation of the spell is unaffected by permanent hit point losses due to energy drain. What does that mean? What the fuck? Oh, it, it doesn't absorb it. It just goes to directly to you. Oh. Well, is that what that means? Maybe. It's kind of a weird that's way of wording it, That's what I was thinking, yeah. The operation of the spell is unaffected by permanent hit points. Yeah, so it, do it doesn't take damage. Oh, so you lose permanent HP. Yeah, this doesn't count for permanent your HP. Your actual HP doesn't change while you have the spell up. Yeah, I think no, that's no, no, no. what it's, it's just like, drops. the temp HP is not affected. It it ignores the temp HP and it goes through your, your health. Oh, right, yeah, I guess it, it just it, it just ignores the temp HP. Yeah. <clears throat> The temporary hit point gain is figured from the new lower total. Yeah, you're right. Which yeah. would make me <laughs> think that it that just works like normal. Yeah, it just yeah. works yeah. like normal. It, yeah. it just goes through it. It ignores the temp HP then, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Mm, okay, so... I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bless in level 1. And then I'm gonna take like... Did you write down your water skin? Moderate to flame blades. Yep, I did. Um, um, oh, based on Neil's uh, lists, a vial is actually one ounce, and a water skin is a quart, and a quart is like almost forty ounces. Hmm. So it might uh, be like forty castings. I mean, I think eight sounds more appropriate. Just, I don't know. just tell me how my, how many castings it is, and also, I'll write that down. Let's bump it up to ten. Let's bump it up. To okay. 10. Ten. Okay. Ten sounds fine to me. So, 10 castings, um, and then what other level 2 spells could we be getting for this endeavor? Honestly, 8 is probably the best one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... I mean... <clears throat> well, I mean, what's, what spheres do you have? I don't even know, actually. Oh, Combat flame blade. on Necromantic Numbers, War, Elemental Fire, Healing, Divination, Charm. Flame Blade, for sure. Yeah, Flame Blade, I have two. Uh, maybe Sanctify? How does Sanctify actually work? It doesn't really do anything, it's more like an RP spell. Yeah. I don't know, maybe just like... Two... Uh, AIDS. Well, <laughs> two AIDS spells. Yeah. I think that's probably... <coughs> I'll just take another Flame Blade and one AID. Because aid also isn't cumulative with bless, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, I think the main problem with sanctify is that you have to spend ten rounds making it, and then it only affects things that are standing in that area. So you kind of have to set it up as almost a trap for the undead. Right? Well, isn't but it, just it also an area doesn't really do anything. Right? It just gives you a plus two to fear and charm based powers. Wait, but can't uh, you? Okay, case, like you can turn at one level higher. You get. Plus two, uh, plus one saving throws for everyone else. Ooh. No, like what, you can what I was turn thinking is, one level higher. What I was thinking is that spicy. you you make it in a room and then you get them to follow you to that room because now that yeah, area yeah, is sanctified. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I agree. That, That's the idea. That, doesn't, doesn't it suffice if I stand in it? No, it says if they're standing in it. I can turn this one level higher, or uh, you can turn monsters that are standing on the sanctified ground. Oh no, any priest standing. You're right. Yeah. So you just need to stand so and see them. What it could be my... in the hallway, right, right in front of the thing. What would my thing then be? My uh, I have to look at the chart. Uh, you would be a level, level five, 5 at that point, so a Wraith, yeah. you need a 16, which is way better. That's... Still not great, but... Well, it's for, it went from 19 to a 16. Yeah, <laughs> either way. But it's then it gives you a shot, what, probably. Saves. 
yeah. I mean, I would um, say that when we do this, the right thing, we will use this because it's like it's yeah. Plus I think one that save, could be worth trying. I mean, it's like it's like a twenty percent chance to auto win the encounter, basically. So why not give it a shot? Yeah. Yeah. True. All right. Well, let's stick with the plan for now. For one Q light, three invis to undead. Sanctify, I think it lasts long enough well, to do. Level. Yeah, it's long enough. But you can, Made. yeah, if you have multiple Six. priests, it adds the durations together for all of them. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so I think this will be my sp Cool. Very, very good. Alright. That's on the the day where we go to do the thing. Oh, yeah, and that's not today. Uh, we're looking for an animal that has like four or five hit die, right? I thought the plan for now was to explore the rest of the dungeon. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if we need Sanctify today. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it in for now. I mean, okay. I think this is just the best optimized spell is to deal with uh, whatever we sure, find. Sure, but you don't have there. aid. That's fine. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it's like the eight temp HP, so... Yep. Alright. Um... So yeah, I guess okay, so we, go, we get back into that room, you cast negative play protection, and we lift up the cover and... Start heading down. Oh, I'd cast negative plane protection down. I don't. I mean, it, it's why it's like it's a uh, seventy minutes. How much is it? What level are you? Turn per level, six levels, so six turns an hour. Six, oh, an hour. Yeah, I mean, an hour is more than enough to just check a couple rooms. Yeah. And away we go. That we do. <coughs> yeah, so we come back from here, right? Yes, you should. Okay, so the waves were... Right there. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is these, okay, these so, two doors, and then I think there was a door up here. Well, let, let's check this room first, right? Yeah, so, we're gonna go up here. Yeah. And if this doesn't lead to anywhere, then <laughs> we go and find the monster. I mean, if, if if this doesn't lead to anywhere, we can open this door and see if that also leads into that the one there. Room. Uh, I remember there were three doors into this room. It was like this, this, and then one right here. If I remember Did we correctly. check? Yeah, we opened it, and there were the braids in here. It was mm -hmm. a square room, like this. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, wait, you wanna cast invisibility now when I go check that first door? Nah. Okay, alright. I open this door. Okie dokie. The door is opened, and inside you see a small little hallway. I don't like these kinds of hallways like this. They always <laughs> they get something fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's always a trap in there. Yeah. <laughs> Can I carefully, like, examine? And see if I see any traps or anything. Uh, you can make me a perception check. Success. Alright, you look around. You don't see any obvious traps. No. And, I mean, I want to just, like, peek my head without actually, like, stepping into this thing. Just to, like, see the corridor on this side and then through this door, which seems open. Yeah, this door is, in fact, opened, and you do see inside to another door. Okay, and then, oh, is there anything in this corridor? Uh, nothing that you can see, no. There's a torch at the other end of the hallway, but... At this end? At, uh, at the end, you're up to the left. Yeah, that one. Okay. Is it on, off? It is lit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll just step through. Yellow. Alright, you step through, and darts come on you! No, they don't. No, you're, you're safe. I'll check here. Right. And inside this room, you spot a chest. In the yeah, middle. okay, that's where the door is. 
Yeah. There's a chest, the chest sitting in the middle. Right there? The oh, just right in the middle of the room. In the middle. Huh. Could be a mimic. Could be a chest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll uh, I'll make room for everybody to like step in. And then, uh, I guess, I'll just attack the chest. YOLO. You attack the chest. Alright, maybe I'll be like, get... I'll be like next to him, ready to step if the chest starts moving. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And <clears throat> now we have to look at something else. Saving throw versus crushing three for wood. Yep. Uh. Wood. How big is the chest also? Is it like a full size? It is a full, it is a pretty big chest. And inside, you roll me a d, I think it's a d20, yeah. For saves a crushing blow, yeah. Yeah. That's probably a fail. Alright. Let me see, wood. Is this wood thick or thin? Thin. It's a fail either way. Yep, so you throw your sword into the into the chest and split it right down the middle. And inside gold and gems and jewelry start spilling out all over nice. the floor. I scoop it all up into the bag Perhaps. of floor. I have a I have the one thousand pounds, so I'll just put it in there. Sure. You wanna tell me what it is? How much it is? Um we can do that uh, after. I don't have a uh, scooped anymore. gold. Scooped gold. Gold gems. Big money. In parentheses. Nice. I mean, that's the loot. Alright, uh, we good to go, guys? Yeah. Hmm. So. It's bound to be more in here. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's try and check up here. <laughs> All right, you. Um, well, before we go, I kind of want to listen at this door. Sure. Yeah, go for it. I have a feeling. Uh, I can do a detect noise because it gives me XP. Mm. Okay. Uh, which door is this one? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right, is there Garrison any noise? Stealthily, clasps his ear to the door, and listens intently uh, inside you hear nothing just silence all right yeah nothing through here go ahead all right i'll open it all right you open and inside it is a fairly plain room with a rug sitting in the middle just like a rug Pink covering rug. the center? Just like a really dirty, moth-eaten rug. Yeah. Is, I mean, I, I want to, like, move it with the sword just to see that, like, is there a hole underneath it? Is this a trap? You move the sword, you... How far do you go? I'm staying... Oh, how... Is the rug, like, covering <clears throat> the whole room? Like, can I reach it no, from here? You can, or you, can, just... you have to step into the room to actually reach it, but... Uh, I'll step into the doorway, but, like, if... And then I'll, I'll try and, like... Push it with the sword. Alright, uh, you get the corner of the of the rug lifted up and seems fine. Just like pull it. Yeah, I mean I'll try and pull it towards me with the All right, you the sword. Yeah, you pull it towards yourself and the rug starts to seep down into a hole. And uh, falls. Well, um... How deep is that hole? It's like 10 feet, but there's spears at the bottom. Uh, is the rug covering the whole thing, or can I see, like, part of the hole? Uh, well, now we, it, it was covering the entirety of the pit trap, but now... Obviously, I just want to see, is there people down there? Is there loot down there? Uh, no, there's nothing down there. 
All right. A few right. skeletons, but that's about it. All right, check this door, Erickson. Yep. I'll give you another tech noise on the door. All right. Uh, this door, you cusp your ears to it, and nothing, as far as you can tell. All right. All right. Well, I open it. Inside, you see a hallway. Alright, I very carefully step, like, making sure that I'm watching my step, because there's probably traps here, and then I'll peek around this corner. In this corner. Another corridor. Alright. Again. Carefully move forward and peek around this corner. This corner you peek and see that. Alright, <laughs> same thing, very carefully move lots up. Lots and lots of corridors. Get here and peek, uh, I guess left first, like very slight, very quickly left and then back and then right. So it's just like forward looking left, back, and then forward looking right, then back. Uh, Alright, how far can you see? You can see pretty far, can't you? I mean, I got 60 feet dark vision and we have light stones. Alright, let's say you can see that much. And then, the right, you can see that much. That's about the same. This place is a fucking maze. Let's go north first. Yeah. Alright, as soon as you step... Onto, like right uh, here, yeah, like right, like right where uh, your token is, uh, where uh, Korgag's token is. Okay, so move back, Korgag. Okay, moving pressure, back. Pressure plate s activates, and you hear. A I push back into this hallway. Uh, before you are able to push back, I would like for you to make me a. Uh, a de dex check. Is this because, like, there's something closing? No. no I think it's because an arrow is flying towards you and you need to dodge it. So that I wasn't, that wasn't a very thing? good sound effect. It is like, more like a... Like a what? I can't even do the noise. It sounds like a ball rolling. Yeah, it's a, it's, can I argue for a jumping proficiency check? Sure, I think we did that jump? last time. Yeah, that's what we did. Huh. Wouldn't it just be a saving throw? And then just the deck. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I would have failed the dex check. Nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, you jump back, and uh, before your very eyes, a ball of death rolls and smashes uh, down into. down this corridor. And smashes. Wait, it comes from below this way. Yes, yeah, so it comes that right? from that way. No, no, like, it go, does it go down, up, or up, down? It goes down, up. Okay. Well, in the last dungeon, a trap like this had nothing in it. But we should, probably should still check it as, uh... Something tells me that there's a lot of room up here and down here that we haven't <laughs> managed to make it to. So it's my dwarven feeling switch. Dwarven, <laughs> yeah. The floor is slanting. Um... Um, Trigger the yeah. pressure plate again. Yeah, I mean, I'll um, I'll put some weight on it and instantly step back. Alright, you do that and nothing. Seems safe enough. Uh, I'll do it one more time. Alright, you do it one more time. Nothing. All right, this time I will fully step, and then I will instantly jump back. Like, I'm, I'm not even waiting for the mechanism. I just want to see if maybe it's just that you need way more weight. No, you step out, it clicks, you go back. Again, nothing happens. All right, All right. Well, let's just check it out then. We should check below first then, if they're coming from there. Sure. So I'll step again here, nothing happens. Nope. Alright, start moving. Can right. I get more vision? Yes. 
Uh, at the end of this hallway, you see a large hole in the wall. That's probably where the boulder went. Oh, wait, it came the other direction. It came from here. That's it where came it came from. from. Yep. Oh. So, like, the hole is on this wall, right? Yes, the hole is on this wall. Yeah. Right, right in the wall. Well, I'm... Um, as we're moving for to like towards it, I want to just make sure that it's it's just like it just had a boulder and it's not like a tunnel, but I should be able to tell from here. And then like if that's the case, I'll just peek on the side. All right, you peek and see the rest of the corridor. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, I think here is where you should cast invisibility because there's probably undead in this area. Is that the store as well? Uh, let's have Ericsson do his yeah, thing. Yeah, you listen first. first, but then... Yeah. I, mean... right, I think you should cast it though, and then maybe like step back here as I peek it. Well, let's wait for what Ericsson hears. Mm -hmm. Ericsson. You, through this door, you hear whispers. Um, are they a language I understand? No. Do they sound like, do they sound like humanoid whis humanoids whispering or is it like an eerie ethereal-ish voice or is it like, like, does it sound like I would whisper or does it sound like spooky? <laughs> sounds spooky. Sounds spooky as fuck. Okay. Yeah. I'll cast the invis to undead on Fighty Boy and step back um, a couple of steps. Yeah. Before we go through, I could uh, make a um, you know, rallying song for ghosts. Uh, you can only do that if the exact nature of the threat is known. Yeah, they're like ghosts or race or whatever. That's pretty exact, right? Yeah, but if it undead isn't that, spirits? then it doesn't work, right? Well, I mean, what's the downside? Sure, I mean, I guess let's move back, though. Let's go back to, like, over here and do it. Just so that... Sure. So, so I want to make a... Uh, I'm going to do the Ghostbusters theme tune for three minutes. I don't think we can play it because it's DMCA. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to yeah. do a song, you can also just tell a story. Yeah, no, I know. Do it, that's one thing. Yeah, if there's something strange in your dungeon room, who are you gonna call? The Ghostbusters. Ghostbuster! Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <sighs> and then, Copy um, that strike. Cast invisibility. Do I'll go back here. Saving throws or to attacks. Saves. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Always Plus saves. saves. Plus one to saves. Right, casting invis to undead, and yeah, probably should I am like where I am. A little bit. Oh, you're there. Okay, that's fine. Yep. I mean, I I'm out of sight, so. I creak open the door. Invisible to undead. Sword in hand. The door. And you see a band of orcs. <laughs> Dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> you... Ready to. Kill everything. Yes, you open the door and inside you see the ghostly bodies of black ethereal creatures with red as blood eyes. I close the door and they don't do they react when like when I open the door and they don't see me? I think they are undead, so they don't see you. Yeah, do they do they react at all or uh they react they look each one of them, like, turns around to look at the door that's just opened. But they don't move, right? They don't move. Yeah, I'll, um... These look, like, the same as in here. Like, these are wraiths, right? Can I recognize them? You can Maybe. recognize them. They look the same. Yeah, I'll close this door. Alright. The door is closed. And then I'll, like, signal them to, like, move back. I reluctantly move back a little. Oh, uh, I think raids have more than four hit die, right? Because if they do, they get a saving throw to avoid the invisibility. Is that how it works? 
Let's uh, see. Undead of four or fewer hit die are automatically affected, but those with more hit die receive a saving throw versus spell to avoid ah. the effect. Then they do That's... get a saving throw. Yep, they should. Yeah, they should. Let's uh, move back here and see if I die. Alright, let's move back there. Reveal, you see inside. And do they all get one, or is it probably they all get one? Well, the, the three that should be able, like, only these three should be able to see me, right? Eh, the wraiths themselves are kind of transparent as well. Right, no, but these two are like, they're but like... the wall is not transparent. They can't see the wall. <laughs> so, only these three should be in, like, line of sight. I said they all turn to look at the door that's just open. Okay, so if they all are able to, like, move around and turn, I want to be able to, like, ready my attacks in case they come towards me. Because, like, if we have a second of them all, like, moving to look at me, I should have a second to, like, ready my attack. Sure. Okay. Alright, now let's give them a save. That's a fail. Pass. I guess we should move back as well where we were. I think that's yep. a pass. Pass. Holy shit! Holy shit! Pass. Yep, they see you. Alright, well, four, uh, one of them at least doesn't get to act. Yep, <laughs> one of them doesn't do anything. Uh, but uh, the other four do. So you can get your ready attack. You can ready yep. an attack. I guess it's initiative. Yeah. <coughs> What's the initiative for this? What is four. the initiative? Um, are we doing group or are we doing individual? Uh, it's enough to do individual, right? Yeah, we yeah. can do that. In individual. Five monsters and three PCs, so, so it should be fine. How do you how do you rule ready to tax? Like if I can, I, since I have dual wield, do I get both or no? Uh, I should, right? Probably, I think so. I think you do. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold my ready to tax and like step, maybe like slightly back, so that Korgag also has um. An angle if he wants it. So I'm not in the doorway, I'm just like right outside the doorway. I will want one next round. Don't I need to cast... Only four of them should get to act. One of them should be should be like at least surprised for this round and lose their round. Yeah. Because he failed. Mm-hmm. And race just communicate with each other? Right, but like he should at least like lose one round and then roll into an initiative next round, no? Because he failed his save. Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, yeah. so uh, I guess the point would be he can't see you, right? So yeah, one doesn't even get to be in the initiative. Yeah, I get, but like, I don't know. If he got the right square, that would be the advantage. But you're right. He probably should just miss one. Round. Probably should miss one round. That's that's yeah, what I got rid of him. He's not in the turn order anymore. And so you don't need to roll initiative, do you, Korgag? No, because I'm holding the, I'm holding my oh, no. Horus. I'm holding the right attack. Oh, right, right, yeah. I'm just, I already have it. I'm just holding it. That's what I meant. Alright, so, first one steps up to the plate. Alright. The... Well, this is my main hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck me. Is that a crit? Probably not, right? Uh, let's see their AC. Might uh, be a crit. 16. Yeah. Okay, that's funny. So, he takes 15 damage, and then my off end also goes... 30. That is definitely a double oh, crit, right? I uh, should. Yeah. That's yeah. a double crit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. 3d8 plus 6. He takes 18. That's good. He takes 18 points of damage. Well, 15 and 18. 15 and 18. Yes. 23 damage. No. 33. Yes. Alright. Is he dead? The first. Sweet. Wraith falls into a puddle of black oh, goo. Shit. Augers. He's... He is dead. But I think that he still gets his attack off. Well, my ready attack should go before, right? Otherwise, what's the point of ready attack? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I agree with that. Well, like, otherwise, there's no point. I should just move in every time. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I mean, he won initiative. Time yeah. Initiative. The next well, this one, one gets his attack. Does fuck. Get attack. Uh, You're negative, playing protected. Stop. 
Yeah, the first two, hit, and there's five saves. of them. You get two saves at plus one each. Yeah, but that's only for the first hit, and there's f oh, oh, there's four now. But they well, can all the get to you if it succeeds. Right? Yeah, I guess. I just hate these monsters. Yeah, they're it's good. so much XP. It's so much XP. It hits you. Doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't hit you. Tried. Tried. How many attacks do they get? They get one. Just oh, one. Totally just one. They just got one. Yeah. So he swings wide. You duck his arms, and you're up to the plate. Uh, next, this one, he takes position behind this one. This one steps over there. God damn it. There we go. And now it is Ericsson's turn. Um, I really do anything. Pretty sure. So I'm just gonna chill and wait for the ability to actually do something. Well, couldn't you at least move so that maybe next round you can cast a spell? Yeah. There's like no way he gets line of surge, right? Yeah. My spells do anything. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, monster summoning in this room would be the best thing, but there's, they can't get do side. anything. They kill the monsters, but they can't even attack you anyway. They kill them in one room. It, 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 I it, guess, it. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They can only get one at a time to you, so. Uh, I will... I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna ready a potion of healing so that if he goes down, I can pour the potion of healing into his mouth to get him <laughs> up again immediately. Uh, good to think I think that's the best thing I can do. <laughs> yeah, you take it out of your bag, you have it in your hand ready. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Holding it awkwardly at a party. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, Korgag, your turn. Korgag draws his scimitar and clenches his fist around the handle, like, closes his eyes and starts, like, focusing intently. Sweat breaks from his, uh, from his temple as he, as the scimitar starts to glow and glimmer with intense heat and suddenly he gives a war cry and the scimitar bursts into flame. <laughs> Your scimitar is on fire. It is a beautiful, it is a beautiful yellow and red flame, and that's the end of initiative. Second attack, twenty-three. Just a regular hit, hit, right? Yep, fifteen. Fifteen points of damage. And now. Uh, I am quick. You're a fast boy. I just still have my ready healing potion, so. Ready healing potion action. Yeah, I think he should get to act now, but I'm st he, uh, he's still in, like, I'm invisible for him, so he has minus four yeah. to hit him and everything. He's also stuck behind three other people. Yeah. Yes. I go first? Yes, you do, Horos. What is it you do? I cast Sword. You oh, also it ended because you made an attack. Sorry. Also, you cast what? The invisibility ended anyway because you made an attack. Oh, right, yep. Oh, yeah. Well, 17 damage on this one in front of me. 17 points of damage. Your sword cleaves into this magical amalgamation of shadow and darkness. So, I have a question on a game mechanic now. I still have my second attack and my end of the round attack. Can I just delay them when they step up to me? Or no? I don't think so. No, that's, that's a little bit too much. Alright, I'll just wait. I mean, I'll get my end of the round, but I won't get my offend. It's fine. 
Yeah. Well, what you I think what the answer would be is you're allowed to take a step and take it now. Yeah, but, but you then Cory Gag. Yeah, I'll just stay here so I lose my set my offhand attack, but I have my other one at the end of the round either way. I'll just... Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll chill. Right. Uh, Actually, wait, can I... Oh, I can use it as a block! Uh, yeah, I'll I use it as a block. Could. Yeah. Yep. Isn't it a parry rather than a block? No, is no, it no. It's, 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 it's still called a block action. A parry is... Uh, you do no attacks. Oh, okay. It's just uh, such a weird rule. I've never used it. I use it on Ericsson because I get them for free. Yeah. I've never succeeded with one, though. <laughs> I mean, it's I might because nice. I have good to hit, and yeah. I always roll shit, so I might. <laughs> yeah. Like I rolled a three right there. That would have blocked. <laughs> That's literally yeah. the perfect block roll. You hit a AC sixteen with a low die. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm All right. So Korgag, what does it you do? I step up and ready the flame blade to strike at any wave that dares venture further into this corridor. Alright. Uh, that one's dead. This one s takes a step up. Ah. Aha! He dares Aha. venture further. That is a and miss. I Swoosh. Your flame blade... Flies Can you remove the dead braids? Like they're they're nothing anyway, so they're not actually in the yeah, way. Let's get rid of them. And they don't leave anything behind, right? They just vanish. Yeah, they just vanish into thin air. Yeah. Yep. It's not like Skyrim where you can loot their ectoplasm. Okay. And then I guess that's his his time. It's his time to shine. Yep. He goes to attack Horos. Okay, so Steel, how does it actually work? So I roll my regular attack, right? There's no changes to my attack. Yeah, you roll your attack against AC4, and if you succeed with a lower roll than he succeeded on your attack, that's not that a success. That is not enough. Theory. So now you need to make a saving throw versus death in order to just at plus one, right? At plus one. Yep. Nope. And now you need Sadly. to make a saving throw versus spell at plus one. Huh. I think. Uh, or is it a different saving throw? The one that normally. I think it's spell. The level drain. I think it's is spell. Is there a saving throw? Maybe there is uh, a. Not know. by the book. Not by the book, but Ironic added it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if Ironic did that. So. It, I'm pretty yeah. sure we did. We used it before. Level I think drain. it was spell. Level yeah, drain? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've made any rules about level, level drain before. Uh, we definitely had a save the last time. Yeah, I got attacked Yeah, last session and there was a save, it was a spell. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. <sighs> oh my god. Nope. Well? Nope, nope, nope. Um. Let me see one thing. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right. Well, let's roll this damage. Uh, uh, is that really how the negative movement action works? Then just a save. Yeah. Uh, the guy does take two d six. Yeah. But um, you take double the normal physical damage in addition to the loss of experience that normally occurs. Yeah. Okay. So I take what I eight damage. Uh, then I, I'll make it up to you. Do you want to roll another d6 or just double the four? Uh, I mean, rolling more is usually just better, yeah. so. Yeah. Alright. Seven, like nice. seven points of damage. And you are drained. One level wait, wait, of experience. How, how much damage does he take first? He takes 2d6, the Wraith. Yeah. We need to roll that, right? That might kill him, so nothing happens. And I don't think it can, unless he rolled all ones on his HP. Yeah, no, possible. <laughs> so he's not dead, right? He is still alive and kicking. So ID Wait. level to level six. Let's go. Well, that means you lose your second attacks, right? Yep. 
That's pretty bad. And I lose a D8 HP, right? Or D10, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, D10. Wait, no, it's D10 plus 2, because I've... Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Are you oh, fucking no. serious? Oh, what the shit? Oh. oh, I'm so done. I'm like, what is this? That's crazy. Couldn't really have gone Failing worse, both for saving for like he has to hit you, which is unlikely. You have to fail both saves, which is even more unlikely. And I think we had the block too. <laughs> Three. Hey, you both fucking max it. What the fuck? Jesus, this man. Day. This is not your day. <laughs> Refresh your page to get a different seed, man. Um, Steel, Steel, would you say that the negative plane protection is done now, by the way? Or, I don't really yeah. understand. It. Sam, yeah. <laughs> you just missed, like... No, I saw it. Oh, you watched it? Okay. I'm building oh, a TV and I have the stream up, and I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what is this I'm so bullshit? sorry, dude. Sorry, man. Oh, my God. I was close to level 8! Well, 30k, it's not close. Well, okay. plenty more. Yeah. That is incredible. Uh, so that's unlucky. like I lose twelve HP of my current, also, right? Yes. Or is it only of well, my you max? Lose max. So if your max takes you below your current, then you lose current, I think. Yeah. Right, but do I take that as damage or no? Then. I don't think so. Okay. No, it's so it's just your cap. That's that's lower. My max go to forty-seven, so I will take another five points of damage. So I have forty-seven. HP. Are you? Oh my. God, what is this? I don't even have. I have bad HP now for my level. Yeah. It's fine. Just roll another ten when you level up. It'll be, it'll be fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, I though. fucking hate these monsters. True. Fuck level drain, man. They are really bad monsters. Shit yeah. design. Should just be like in Pathfinder Kingmaker, low negative plane protection just makes you flat out immune to level drain. It should be. Like, what the fuck? This spell is garbage. One attack, too, so now it's over, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Alright, this one positions itself over here. This one. <laughs> well, technically, me. technically, don't you get to attack? At the end of this round, anyways, because this is the second round of attacks. It is. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Make that. Make it. Oh, I also lose a faco, right? So this is now my main hand. Nineteen. Nineteen's a hit. Uh. Listen. Oh, that's not. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think that's it. twelve. <laughs> <laughs> it's thirty. It's thirty-seven soft damage, but it's only twelve real damage. All right, you slash into this creature, and uh, it's it's smoky etherealness. Wait, my saves become worse too now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's smoky ethereal body so cakes over the wound, and it still stands. 13, 12. So it did take 22 points of damage, right? Yeah. Yep, okay. This is okay, doke. PP, no breath weapon, is 13. And then this is 14, yes. Is that correct? 12, 11. Um, oh yeah, I gotta roll mine. Damn. Alright, so... It is... The one that rolled the up is the front one, so... Yeah. That's good. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, these two stand around doing nothing. And, Horos, it is now your turn. So it seems a hit. Nice. 14 points of damage, which is enough to bring this creature to the ground. It falls into a pool of its own black ethereal body. And, and dies. If I step forward and, and you don't get to attack, and uh, I'll just stay here. I'll uh, create a block again. 
can I can I swap my square on my like because now it's my turn? Can I swap my square with Phoros and uh, take his square? Uh, sure. Right, so I'll uh -huh. swap with Phoros. I'll take his square. I still have a block I'll... with my second attack, which I can use on you. Yeah, and already my scimitar to uh, like my flame blade to attack them if they step forward. All right. Uh, they do not step forward, and that is this round gone. Mm -hmm. I'll keep my ready to attack for the next one, so I'll not roll into initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, how, can I roll into initiative, but keep my offhand as the block, or is that not a thing? Uh, I don't know. I think I don't think you. I think you have to just declare it. So yeah, I think you can do it. Um, at the beginning of the round, you can say how many attacks you want to use as a block. It doesn't matter if you. Okay, so I'm keeping my offhand as a block, and I have my. I'll roll into initiative to attack with my main hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the initiatives, I think. Ericsson's doing nothing, and I have my ready to attack. Oh, right, 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 right. All right. So this one steps forward. You get your ready to attack? Yeah. By the way, I posted how I Boom. feel in the Discord. Uh, that is a miss, Kordag. Your Yikes. sword, your flaming blade flies wide, hitting nothing. Actually, Actually, I do get a I do get a shield. Punch. Can I use that as a block as well? Because I can't use my shield punch on them anyways. Yeah, if you, you use, should be able to. If you use your shield block, you don't get any of your AC bonuses. I think. Why? Well, because of the fighting style, right? Oh yeah, 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 right. No, yeah, he can use it. It's 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 a it's a real thing. Yeah, you can use it. So now we have two blocks for this attack. Come on, hit him, hit him with it. Okay. Two blocks, negative plane protection, and, and a function of AC. There is no way I get level drained here, right? 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 <laughs> I don't know, if your luck is as bad as Horus is, then... You know the worst part? If if the thing that I rolled in a save, I rolled on the block, it would have succeeded. Because it was a six, yep. not a two. Yep. <laughs> Just like, come on. That's how, that's how yeah, that was mega unlucky. There were so many unlucky things yeah. in a row. Yeah. Alright. The ethereal beast takes a swing at Korgag, missing. Well, I believe. I think the blocks are utilized either way, so. Yeah, you choose to use the block on the certain attack. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like if they succeed, it yeah, doesn't yeah. change anything. So. Yeah. I shouldn't have rolled it. I wasted my sixteen now. Yeah. Well, that is a fail, anyways, because you d didn't roll lower than he. Yeah, I know, but I could have yeah, used it on the next attack. I mean, it doesn't matter. I hit him on a fucking four, but it's like. Ah. I'm sad. Yep, yep. Is it my All turn right. though? Wish of eight. Well, it no, it's your turn. doesn't do anything, so. Your turn. That's a hit. That was well, your block, wasn't it? Oh, no, that's my attack. Oh, yeah. was 12 damage. 12 points of damage. The creature stays upright. And is not defeated. Alright. This one is hit... trying to move forward a little bit. Yep. Initiative. Try and hit something this round. I haven't done so yet. Alright. Uh, Horos, are you readying an attack or something? Uh, no, I'm rolling. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll do, I'm going full Zug Zug, I gotta kill them. Yeah, yeah. go full Zug Zug. Fine. I have a block of myself and I have high AC yeah. and negative plane protection. I feel like I'm pretty safe. Yeah, I mean, your AC is way better than mine, too. It's like, what, 23? 22. 22. Alright, Korgag, it's your turn. Alright. This time, this is it. One time. 
No, this is not no, it. No, it's not. It's not this. <laughs> not this time. This <laughs> is it. Damn. It is it. <laughs> That's more like it. A uh, double crit, right? Clear by ten. I think so. Yeah. Two. Yeah, easily. Nineteen, still alive. Still. Actually, Offend no. attack. It still is dead. dead. Still not dead. <laughs> Offend still is a block. Dead. Still dead. All right. Because I can't. Yeah, I mean, I probably offense, explicitly so. say it, but obviously, I read it. My. Mm -hmm. And now, this one steps forward, and it makes it makes its attack, but you got the ready to attack off. Uh, no. I mean, I can't ready the attack, it's the offense, so it's just oh, like, I'm using ready, it for a block. You're ready to block, alright. Yeah, because I can't ready block it. block with a weapon that can't hit a creature? So, like, the shield? That's an interesting question. Probably you shouldn't be able to. It should just go straight through. Yeah, it probably doesn't do anything. Probably can't block with my shield then. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Alright. It makes its attack at Korgag. Missing. Miss. Swoosh. Fuck! <laughs> Boom! Well, it's a hell of a block. Do, do I hit him with some damage? Nope. Oh wait, I thought you were still Zuck. Oh yeah, I guess. I mean, I couldn't because it would have just foregone the attack. Yeah. I have a second. I have an attack at the end of the round now, though, because this is the odd round. Mm. Yep. Or, I mean, any even uh, round. Do I actually? So yeah, attack at the end of the round now. Yep. I should not have used the nat twenty. Fuck. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Going on. Oh no! Jesus Christ! That is a pass on the saver's death. Really? Huh. All right, your sword—you almost lose your grip on the sword, but you regain it at just the right moment, and uh, your sword does not go flying into the room. Alright, one, one left. Hit. One hit. <laughs> uh, I should have three. Oh, come on. There we go. Okie dokie. So, it is... The Wraith's turn first. He wounds up a nice sucker punch with an 18 on core gag. Missing. His hand bounces off of your armor. Uh, smoke just flies everywhere, but you remain safe. All right. We got this this time. Boom! Yep, you definitely have this. That's a... Yep. Cool. Single crit. Um, okay, so talk crits to me. If you had a mace, d6 plus 1, would that do 2d6 plus 2 for you? Yes. So should my flame blade then do 2d4 plus 12 now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 17 points of damage. That is, is he still alive? Big boy damage. Let's see if he's still alive. He is still alive and kicking. Main hand attack. Boom, he dead. You know yeah. what, I'm rolling the often attack as well, I don't, I don't, yeah. He definitely yeah. dead, boys. <laughs> how how yeah. many is that? How many is that? <laughs> it's uh, fucking 5d8s? Two double, two double crit. Two double <laughs> yeah, no, so 6d8 plus 9 plus, plus 15, well, no, 42 damage. Right. Are we doing triple crits? Yes. Yeah, there's yeah. no cap. And, and it's one more, one more D. Yeah, one more D. Oh, one more. Another five, so 47 damage. 47 damage. Zug Zug. The Zug Zug, <laughs> at its finest. The Wraith sinks deep into the floor and. How many hit dice was this? This was a lot of hit dice. Let's They're worth see. way more. I'm looking at table 32. At everything in the fucking table. Plus one or better. So it's 25 hit dice as a base. Uh, 
my my lawyer would beg to differ. Yeah. Well, he's it's a base, right? So they yes. are flying. They have energy drain. They're only hit right, by a plus silver. three. So plus three another, for each one. Yeah, so that's another fifteen, right? Yes. So forty hit dice. Forty. Then they are flying, which is another plus one, so that's forty-five. They're not flying, right? Are they? Yeah, they. They can, they, can fly. Fly. they can fly at like super fast movement rate as well. Like, yeah, oh, they can fly at like 48 or something. It's yeah. pretty good. Um, hit by only magical silver weapons is another plus one. That's uh, 50. 50. Yep. Um, immunity to any spell or weapon, including half damage. I don't think they have that. Invisible will know they don't have any spells. Well, they're immune to illusions, no? Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's all in dead. I thought we just, for some reason, we decided that doesn't count last oh. time. Um, they don't have missile or magic with this, they don't have massive attacks after that, so it's petrification poison. They don't have much missile regeneration. This special defense, no. Yeah, I think that's it. 50 hit dice. I mean, that's still quite a lot. It's not enough. It's not enough. No. I haven't made that for me to level. Oh, it's but... actually so annoying too because it doesn't de level you by like <coughs> percentage of what you have. It sets you to a level lower halfway through. So since I'm more than halfway through the next level, I lose a level and a half further than one level. Yeah. I'm pretty really unlucky. It's yeah. just. Yeah. Oh. Right. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. Annoying. A two, a two, a five. I just... <laughs> yep. Uh... Hang on. Hang on. Wraiths do have more immunities. They're immune to poison and paralyzation. And more hit dice. Spells. That more is hit more dice. dice. Right. How many more? Let's have a look. Table 32. Um, Fuck table 32. <laughs> nah. Um, I think it would just be immunity to certain spells, which is a plus one. So it would be not plus five. So 55 total? Right, I'm yeah. back. 55 total? Yeah. Yeah, because they, they're immune to a bunch of spells as well. Which is plus one. They're immune to... Sleep charm, hold, death, and cold base as well. So they're also immune to poison and paralyzation. Oh. So that immunities. Um, All right. So I'm just checking my. So I get dropped to what is it? Thirty-two thousand. It should be forty-eight thousand, right? Uh, yep, yeah. forty-eight thousand XP. How much XP did you lose total? More than what I'm left with. Fuck. I lost 53,000 XP. Yikes. Damn. Brutal. Ah, uh, these fucking monsters. Yep. It says they cannot communicate with each other. Interesting. I want my XP back, you lied to me. Ah, uh, sixty-four thousand. Yeah. Oh my god. It also says it shuns bright, e.g., continual light sources in general, but will occasionally attack if the compulsion to do so is strong. But we had continual light stones, and it just seemed to attack anyway. I don't, I don't know, really know. Like what specifically it should have done. <sighs> hmm. I have two light stones on me. Yeah, I have one. A lot of light stones. I have not. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, that is a predicament. Direct sunlight. 
shuns bright light sources in general. Yeah, I'm going to say that the light was dispersed enough so that, you know, it wasn't like super duper bright. You know, because you use these as torches, right? You don't want to have... You know, well, these are continual light stones. Yeah. I mean, they just generate a field of light around them. They don't work like torches. Yeah. It's a spell oh. continual light. Yeah. Where is it? Is it under alteration? Uh, it's a pre spell under sun. The spell is similar no, no, no. to it's a, spell. This is a, not a pre spell. This is a. Oh, these are wizard ones. I think these are wizard ones, yeah. Tunnel uh, light. 60 foot radius. Similar to the light spells, except that it's bright as daylight. Yeah. Damn. I it less the that. penalties in bright light suffer them in this spell's area of effect. It doesn't yeah. say what penalties they have, though. Um, yeah, this, it says they can't attack. This is the passage. Attack. This is the passage it's, from the spell. They won't attack you unless they this have a spell. This spell creature has no power in direct sunlight and will flee from it. Sunlight cannot destroy the wraith, but the undead creature cannot attack in sunlight. It shuns bright light sources in general. This is... And then this it is as full as daylight. I literally put it in the thing. Yeah. It's full daylight. So it, so it's as bright, at least, as full daylight. Yeah. Well, sorry, I missed that. Uh... Should I? Can I get back my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It's over and done with. I mean, it's. I still. I haven't changed we it have, yet. It's still. We have to use this against Sam and Odola. Wait. Uh, the creature roll saving throw. Wait. Much of darkness. Will occasionally attack if compulsion to do so is strong. Yeah. Yeah, to keep you from progressing, that's a pretty strong strong thing. Well, we open the door, and then there's an invisible guy. They kind of see it, and they go, yep, this guy, he might have two continual light stones, but uh, we better kill him. Yeah. Wait, what does it say in the right thing, that this whole thing about the light? The last paragraph of combat. Because they just ran away from light all the time, that'd be kind of shitty. Yeah. Wait, but this doesn't make any it, sense. It says that they have no power in the in these things, but that they could still attack in them. Well, no, this isn't direct sunlight. It's it's like day. Oh, okay, just saying. It's from okay, the yeah, yeah. sun. Yeah, I see. I see. I, well, I think I think with the continual lightstone, the paragraph would apply where it says they shun it, but they will attack if it's extreme yeah, condition. I yeah. agree. But the trouble with that is, um, you could just argue basically it's always going to be extreme conditions because like a wraith is always like guarding something or like chilling in a dungeon or whatever. Like, yeah, what, what kind of situation is there where that applies? Like, I I, I think the way you would, or well, I don't know, the way I might do it is. That typically, even in this sort of situation, they'd ignore you. But if you're, if they're like in uh, Lich's lair trying to guard the phylactery, that's when they would attack the, with the continual light or whatever. Mm. Because it's like a last resort. But I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, but everything that happened still happens. Badge. Right. Should we listen on the next door? Yeah. That's the door to the other, like, ah. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't care don't... anymore. Let's just go. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll frontline. Let me frontline. I still have negative point protection there. Let's see. Sure. Like, one thing I could do um, activate the Berserker Rage and just tumble around the room. Give them all minus three AC. <laughs> 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 I don't think their AC is actually our problem. Yeah, their AC is fine. It's no, just. We, um, well, uh. Moho is just miss them most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just stand there and tank, and then Ho kills them. I think that's the play. <laughs> yeah, I could even like probably go to auto defense or something, and like yeah. literally need a nat twenty to hit me. Yeah, <clears throat> could work. Mm -hmm. Well, Ericsson, you listen to the other side of the door and hear nothing. I open the door. The door 
is opened, leading you. Oh shit! <laughs> it became even more dark. Even after darker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> leading you to this. All right. A hallway. I'll poke around the corner. Have a quick peeky deek. You see more corridor. It is dark and eerie and suspenseful. Same thing here. Same thing what here. What the hell is this? Corridors. It's the twisting corridors, man. There's, uh, there's all over the place. Which side do you peek down first? I'll go with this direction because it seems like there's a room here. Head over here, peek into I the mean, room. We should still be able to see we here, right? Because he steps through. Um, for a second. Nah. Whatever. There's nothing there. Yeah, it's just a corridor. There, you can see that. Okay. Peek into this room. It's just more corridor, man. I don't know. Oh what to my tell god. You. If this is a corridor that goes in on itself. It definitely is. <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> No, Ironic wouldn't do such a thing to it. Hey, it's not me, it's random dungeon generator. I'll look this side first. Just empty Nothing. hallway. Look this uh, side. Find this. <laughs> I'll step around, look here. You see the entrance to of a staircase. You see a staircase. Does it go up or down? It goes down. Ooh. Yeah. Want to revisit that later, or shall we go now? Uh, should we first clear out like this area? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. I'll head around here and then peek around this corner. All right. You peek. Do a little peeky deek. More corridor. I do what I do best in. Here, peek. I'll oh, open the door. Oh no, wait. I, I wait for Eric to give him his XP. Yeah. Beyond this door, you hear. Eh. Well, that was a noise. I don't recognize what it is, though. Alright, I kick in the door. I yell my commands. You open the door? Yeah. Alright. Making a rise against joke. Ah, oh, yes. And you open the door and inside, sitting in the middle of a room, is a skeleton clad in armor with a sword at his side. And... He is you sitting should. on a throne. He's not quite that big, but he is bigger than your typical skeleton. Well, what sword does he have? Just a long sword? He has a long sword, correct. Good. I'm the summon monsters and then the tumbling beam. Well, initiative, right? Yeah. Should be. Guys, yeah, look at look at the bright side. I'm still full HP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See kind of optimism we need. Yeah. Okay. The, the skeleton stands up and you see that all he, he's clad head to toe in black plate mail armor. 
Who? How big is this guy? Too it's big like for us. Seven, right? seven feet tall. That's not too big for me. That's definitely too big for you. Well, is he size large? No. So I got it to six five. Yeah, like that's definitely big. too big for you. <laughs> Sounds like it can be resized. Too big. Sounds like it can be resized. Um, well, as he stands up, a uh, six little germlins appear. Germlins? Uh, what is a germlin? What the fuck is like, a germlin? <laughs> they're like, uh. Um, Are we cool to look that up in the monster's manual? It's not keeping? in the monster's manual. Oh, but it shit. is, but it's under another it is. one. I don't remember which. I got it, I got it. Wait, it's like a fucking dude. Where is yeah, it? Gremlin Germlin. They're like little oh. dudes. It's a gremlin. Yeah, it's a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what is this? This is garbage. <laughs> hit dice one half. That go 20. <laughs> D2 attacks. Um, oh, damage yields. I don't know, it's D2 or D4. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are D4. Come on, give him the D4 attacks. <laughs> Well, I think, uh... Fucking gremlins. So they have needle-sharp darts, which they can throw 120 yards for D2, and they have a miniature pike that does D4. So it depends if they're ranged or melee. And how big are they? Um... One foot. Oh, they're tiny. They're super small. They're tiny yeah. little boys. Tiny um, little gremlins. Overbear uh, attack! Yeah, <laughs> get him! <laughs> you summon how many? Six? Uh, six. Six. Yeah. I'll just copy and paste. Um. Get him! Hang on, I'm just reading all the rules in case they do something weird. They have. St what, holy shit, they have st like a page and a half of fucking notes on them. Yeah. They have literally more, yeah, more of writing than the brace. <laughs> <laughs> they have double deriving. <laughs> they're important dudes. Yeah, man, they're interesting creatures. Slain victim and 5%? What the fuck? Yeah, they eat captives 5% of the time. Yeah. Only the other they have time a 25% chance to have a D6 weapon? Or D6 rats? Uh, D6 rats. Yeah, but not when I summon them, I don't think. I didn't they are treated as four hit die for purposes of saving throws and what magical attacks. What? So they can hit rates. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Wait, Wait. Really? Yeah, they can. And magical attacks. Yeah. Yes. No, four hit die. You need four plus one though. Oh. Uh, well. Come on, give it to them. Bad. Give it to them. <laughs> I mean, this is well, not a rate. Probably hit a skeleton. Right? Yeah. But they do have damage because their attacks are piercing. And if they succeed on a saving throw, they escape, even though it would normally do half damage. For like whatever lightning bolt or fireball or whatever. Nice. <laughs> yeah, these guys are badass. <laughs> yeah, but they do like no damage. They're not gonna hit. They need that twenty to hit. <laughs> Wait, they're they're genius intelligence. What the fuck? No, they're genius. Oh no, they're average. Cunning. Average cunning. intelligence, genius cunning. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh, uh, I see. Um. Okay. Well, they appear. <laughs> Wait, they 12 to 48 appear. of them are supposed to appear normally. <laughs> yeah, well, it's 3d4. Yeah. A monster or something. And I guess they're gonna try and do an overbear. Alright. You really uh, wanna kill them all in the first round? Yep. An overbear. Okay. So, an overbear, you get a. Strength, opposed strength roll, basically. Okay. But the strength of the attacker gets a four point penalty because it's one size smaller. A plus one for each attacker, so there's plus five, so plus one in total. Aren't they two size smaller? Because they're tiny, no, so. They're not. Oh, are they tiny? Yeah, yes, they're they tiny. Are. Oh, well, this isn't going to work then. Yeah, you should just attack. <laughs> well, and also, he will there. get attacks of opportunity and just well, fucking just work. There is there. a limit to the number of attacks of opportunity. Yeah, even yeah, if three each, plus like, you one for them. Lab prefer five levels, so he yeah, can okay. kill. Fine, they're just gonna <laughs> surround him from an attack. Gremlin strats. Yeah. Buy me one round. Buy me one round. We're chilling. They hit. One of them hit. Yay! <laughs> yeah. With his little tiny pike pokes him for four damage. Oh, Which two, is two, two. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gremlins. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, that's way better than I expected it to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but once I get I mean, my... Uh, two damage is infinitely it. better than zero oh, damage. <laughs> I can move after I do a spell, right? Uh, after, uh, after you do a spell, yes. Yeah, so I've done a spell, and now I want to move. So oh, I wanna move. yeah, thing. Then I don't even need it here to buy me a round. Easy. Uh, can I activate the amulet, or is that a full round action? I think it's a full I round. Thought it was, I think it was just a word, but... I'm I think sure. you said it was just a word. Okay, then yeah. Well, We'll definitely be in the radius, though. Right? Uh, how big's the radius? Six feet, it's huge. Ah. Well, that's fine. You guys won't be fine. being hit. The gremlins will be being hit. No, 60 feet. Doesn't it affect everything. all the things? What? Doesn't it affect all the things? It yes. It affects everyone. I'm not saying you won't be hit by the radius, I'm saying you won't be hit by the monster, because he'll oh, be hit yeah. by the gremlins. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. If I die here, man... It'll be fine. Hey, join okay. the club. It's My easy. character isn't making it out of this place. I have rope on me and I have a chair. But you don't have a hook. Don't need it. Soap on a rope. Uh, it's d6 plus 6 rounds. I guess I could roll that. <laughs> what are these exact effects again? I get like minus 10 to AC. Minus 3 to AC, plus 1 to attack, plus 2 to damage. It's like the worst spell ever. It's not that bad. It's good Extreme. for this. I, I want to roll a saving throw against this. <laughs> there is a save, that's the whole. That's why it's good, because you go into the enemy lines and you give this to the enemy. It's garbage. <laughs> it's fucking garbage. Minus 3 AC okay. is so brutal. If you guys do nothing... And you just watch the gremlins fight. It's pretty good. Right, it doesn't yeah, matter. I'm going four, in. Yeah. He 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 kills two of them per round. Then there is seven rounds left on that shit, and we still haven't achieved anything. No, they're gonna kill him. They've already done two damage. All right. Either way, core gag is turn now. Yeah. Yeah. I put it in do. a bag of holding. I cast Flame Blade and step up to like here to let allies pass. Yeah, these things are tiny. They don't. They. they don't... Sh yeah, they should all be in like two squares. Yeah. Yeah. Like here. Tiny little boys. Yeah. I don't know why that's you said that with like much conviction. I don't know. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> okay. So that's Korgag's turn. Now it is Skeleboy's turn. He will ignore the... Oh uh, no! Who would have thought? Like he no, he gets six attacks of opportunity. No, he gets like two attacks of opportunity because he only leaves two threat radiuses. Well, no, he leaves four. These two are probably not in threat radius anymore. There's four attacks opportunities with back attack and with a bonus yeah. to hit. So plus three to hit on all of them. Yeah. Your right. shield. <laughs> so I don't know what AC this guy has, but uh, these should be at plus three. Okay. So 15 mm. would be the best. And he is at minus three AC. He's at minus three, uh, but that 15 is still not a hit. Even for even no back shield? attack, no shield, no anything. What does back attack give you? Plus two. Uh, well, it's just it, no well, shield, I, no dex. For him, no shield, no dex. So, does he have 18 AC purely from 20 armor, AC. Just from armor. Just from armor. So this is a magic plate mill? No. It is just then the AC how of the creature. Wait, but if... No, no, no. Like, the shield doesn't count from back attack. So if it's counting the shield, then it's like... Either 19 with 1 AC shield, or... Oh, is this a Death Knight? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got yep. it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 back, um, the back attack is less. It doesn't count the shield. So, if he has a shield, then he has um, 1 AC from shield, which means it's 19. Okay. From minus from play. 3, which is 16. Miss. Uh, it's a miss by 1. It's still a miss. It's still, it's still a miss. miss. All right. And then on his turn... As soon as you said it has 20 AC, just the creature, I'm like, alright, it's a death knight. <laughs> yeah, you just automatically know. I've used them last week. 
Dude, death knights are awesome. I love them. Mm-hmm. He gets plus nine. How much is the, uh... One. The area of effect thing? One. One. Alright, he attacks what, you, area? Korgag, with a sword. With a 24 to hit. Yep, that hits. Uh, he has... He has plus two to damage. Yeah, but he also has a strength of 18-00. Yeah, which is plus six. Right, you take 11 points of damage from his sword crashing into you, scraping on your plate. Uh, you have plate now, right? Yeah. I yes. don't want to fuck us, but did you not roll for what sword he has? I did roll for what sword he has. Okay, but it doesn't have. It's not one of the bonus ones then. No, it is one of the bonus ones. Okay. Yeah. Double check your math, because it might be missing some damage then, if that's the case. Just well, that's yeah, a plus two for his sword, and then six because of his strength. Yeah, yeah and, and then, then and then two for the uh, plus two for the scarab, so it should be thirteen. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep, subtracted. Okay, Horus teleports. He doesn't want. He teleports right here. Zoom. That's oh, my the... one though. Ah, uh, she. I don't know, see. man. You guys are just trolling Giga hard. I can't even. I mean, what what else do you want me to do? Not step with, so that I can't use the horn of blasting would be. Oh, start. I forgot. Uh, if you have that out, I would know, and then I would just go here. I mean, uh, I don't that, because I'm going to use right. it next round, but... I mean, it's, it's, I'll, I'll go here. I probably can't even... I would need to step over the gremlins to move there anyway. Easy. Right, like, one foot tall. Yeah, but I don't want to kill them. They're, they're cute. Yeah. So it's plus one to hit from the, from the scarab thing? Yes. And right, that is a hit. 25, 25. That's another hit. All right, so 2d8 plus 15. There are 23 total. You include the plus 4 for the... Sky. Oh, I did not. Plus 4, so 20... 7. All right, holy shit. Okie dokie, you all... Horus' attacks really do a number on this creature's armor and you rip off you take some ribs with you and that's the end of the round the gremlins are tiny so they normally roll at just d10 so should i just do that for yeah nice what a time to roll max initial yep and then it's got nine on first unless ericsson also rolls his yeah, initiative I'm gonna do uh, summon sword. What did XP the Death Knights give? Was it 5k? 9k, I think, or 6. Nine, one or two. Nine or 6. 6. 6, yeah. Okay. They're not worth their XP. Like, they're so much stronger than their XP. Yeah. Is. It's like, yeah. They're very unbalanced. Me and my boys all roll 9. Okay. Uh, Horos, you go I'm first. first. Main hand, off hand. Ooh. The main Just hand one is hit. a double crit. Double yeah. crit, right? Yep. Wait, it might be a triple crit. It is a triple crit. Minus minus oh, he's, yeah, he has minus three AC, right? It oh, is. Yeah. It's a triple crit. Oh, it's four D eight damage and a hit. Twenty five, and then it's a hit, right? And then D eight plus six and plus two damage, as and then well, plus so two on both of them. So it's twenty seven and eleven. Twenty seven and eleven. All That's right. Eight. That is enough to bring this death knight <laughs> to his <laughs> knees. You've done so much <laughs> damage like, to it. Zug, zug. I, I yep. mean, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm retracting my being sorry for you being deleveled. You're fine. Zug, <laughs> zug. <laughs> I pick up the sword good. and I use. I'm, that's my often now. His sword. Fuck the scarab. <laughs> scarab helped. Okay, it's a good move. Did help a lot. It actually did. <laughs> but I like how it didn't help because you hit us, it helped because you hit him. Yeah, I mean that was the point, that's why I did it. 
good. How many hit dice? I'm I'm pretty sure it's like fifteen after you account for everything with Death Knight. Um, I mean they have like level seven or eight spells. Technically they have level twenty spells. Just have one. It's plus two for just plus two for level three or greater spells, which is dumb. But whatever. I mean, um, he could have just used Power Word Kill to kill any of us. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Fireball to kill all of us. No, he couldn't, because the, the Gremlin cancelled his spell. No. No, it's, no, it's a native ability. It's a native don't get oh, he could have just Fireballed and literally killed everyone. It would have ki killed him too. It would have killed everything in this dungeon. Wait, are you sure? Because yes. Because Dragon spells get cancelled, and they're innate abilities. Uh, they're not innate no, abilities. No, Dragons have spellcasting abilities. But spell they don't have, abilities. like... Wait, what's... Oh, they have spell slots. They have spell slots, yeah. Spellist. He could have done... No, dragons don't have spell fireball. They get one of each spell a day. He could have... He could have done 70 damage fireball. Yeah. He could have killed himself and everyone else. But... Yeah, he could have killed everybody in the dungeon. Yep. Well... <clears throat> Instead, he just... It's died. fine, we take this. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. raged. Big he was you. angry. Yeah. I um, slapped myself for Q moderate. I will look at the gremlins and what are they doing after the thing is killed? They're eating it. Well, it's just bones. Yeah, it's just bones, yep. dude. They're and gnawing. gnawing on the bones. Gnawing on the bones. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna grab the sword and if any of them try and do anything, I will kill them. No, they're chill. They're just gnawing on the bones. They're good cool. gremlins. I mean, we grab all the shit. Uh, like, probably we even grab the plate and shove it into the bag of holding. I don't think you can grab the plate from a death line. I think it like disappears with them. I Doesn't? don't remember. Let me check. Um, but also, I wanted to send the gremlins through the next door, I think. They can't oh, reach they the handle. Yeah, they can't reach the handle. <laughs> yeah, well, they build a human pyramid. <laughs> yeah, they can build a little handle. pyramid up to the handle. I think it needs to be three feet tall, so you need to have three at the bottom, two right above them, and one above them. Which yeah, you, easy. It's six. Yeah, it's exactly six. Yeah. yeah. That's what they do. <laughs> Alright, six gremlins. <laughs> what do the gremlins see? The gremlins open the door, and inside. Well you, well, you don't see what they see, but they see something. Well, they're gonna attack it if it, it's an enemy. Alright, they all funnel into the room. Yeah. I just want to like peek from like far out here just to see like what they're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, I am using the Death Knight sword in my often now. Uh, I don't want to add it to my sheet just like because I, I know what it is, but I my character doesn't know. Although he definitely knows that it's a magic sword because it just looks nicer and it's like hit like a truck. Korgak too took two more damage. <laughs> Yeah, it almost lobbed his arm off, so. It's definitely a good sword. Mm hmm. Show us the gremlins. You look into the room and see the gremlins. It's actually Fine. the worst. It's actually the wor worst sword that he can drop, right? Yeah. That's still fine. I take it. Gremlins versus Cube. Gremlins versus Cube. Who will win? Cube. Nah, uh, Gremlins have got up. They still are buffed. Wait, yeah, the Cube buffed. was within 60 feet, so the Cube is also affected. Mm -hmm. It's an angry Cube. Yeah, everything up to this room, which is where the rates are. Yeah. Oh, wait, is, it, is this a scale, really? Are we only 3 feet big? Nope. Well, oh, I, mean, so I have no idea. If we're supposed to be to scale, then it's it's gonna end like before here, because it's to be instead of three feet, it should be five feet. I did it in the top corner, so yeah. So it should end. It would end like some like this. Yeah. The cube was definitely effective. Yeah, the cube is. Yeah. yeah, it ends before this room though. Mm -hmm. Like this. Ends on this square, like here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess we could roll initiative between the gremlins and the cube and see Yeah, let's do it. Gremlins go for. Are we just gonna watch them fight it, or should we help them? I mean, that's what Eric wants to do. 
I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go help him. I'll just ready, like, um, I'm not gonna go the first round, I'll wait, I'll give them one round, and then I'll go in next round. I don't have a ranged weapon, so I'll go. So you'll what? I'll just chill. What? We have to use melees, what do you, what do you mean ranged? Well, if they're gonna fuck it up, then I don't need to risk any damage to anything. I guess. Okay, so... 6, so 8, it is, 20. It is the gremlin's turn first. Yeah. Um, they have a plus 1 to hit. So... And plus... The only one hit. Uh, let's see, there's AC. Well, minus 3 AC to the cube. Yeah. So I guess it's like kind of like plus 4 to hit. Effectively so plus guess, 4. Yeah, an 11 and a 21 against the AC of the cube. Yeah, uh, 21 candidate. hits. Okay. Um, D4 plus 2. The 3 damage. With this little pike. With this little pike. Does the cube just walk over them and absorb them all? <laughs> you know, I'm debating. I think it probably will. What do gremlins sound like when they die? <laughs> <laughs> that was surprisingly good. <laughs> Thank you. So. Uh, the gelatinous cube will just sort of, like, move that way. Well, oh, wait, the I... gremlins specifically are very nimble. They get, like, a level 4 saving throws for their nimbleness. So they should be able to dodge this. Or have a chance to. Mm. Sure. Give them all, like, a dex check at dex 10. See if they dodge. Three of them dodge. Alright, I'll say that those are the three at the back. Yeah. Four of them dodge. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, the ten is also success. Yep. Yeah, eight, five, and ten. So one moves forward, and then... Yeah, no, there's... There, there, there oh, is, yeah, yeah no I was... More. I was. Oh, right, it's no, back, no. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the left hand sign here means less than or equal to, for some reason. Alright. No, but we were looking at the high numbers, not the lower numbers. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it attacks one of them for 12 and another one for 22. Well, um, I don't think they have any OC, so... Alright, then he barrels over, him, over them for 9 damage on the first one. Oh, they Twelve actually do damage. have uh, thirteen AC. So oh. actually, one of them okay. doesn't hit. One of them does. Uh, well, minus mi no 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 minus three AC. Uh, oh yeah, that's yep. right. Yeah, they're oh, all yeah, dead. Yeah, they're all dead. It hits both. So two. Well, the there's one alive, right? Uh, one does. One takes nine. One takes twelve. Yeah. Yeah, one should be alive. And then there's another one that's still alive because three of them dodged the initial. Move. Yep, four of them, I think. Three. But one's Three alive. dodged, and then two got smacked, so there's one alive, yeah? Yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah. And then, the as the gelatinous cube is not expecting it, I get right here to his, like, flank, as he's facing the gremlins. Although, I, I mean, it's not really a flank. Have... flank. It's, no, yeah, they it's, don't. No, 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 I'm just... I know, I'm yeah. just yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, this is my main hand. Has a hit. And this may offend. That's another hit. Is that a crit? That uh, should crit. They don't have 18 AC or 19 AC, right? Their armor class. Yeah, they, they, yeah, that crits. So the first one is just a hit, and it's this. Second one is a uh, single crit, right? So 2d8. Yep. Oh, no, plus 2, so that's 12 for the first one. Okay, and now. Do you want me to calculate it as it's the damage of a plus 2 sword or no? Uh, sure. Okay. You can do that. So it is 14. Alright. That Plus is two. enough to make this gelatinous okay. cube ooze everywhere, squeezing through all the... I'll jump back cracks. so that I don't get, like, 
Yeah, and so the last gremlin. <laughs> the last gremlin dies. <laughs> he drowns, probably. He, uh, climbs on the back of one of the other dead gremlins and uses as like, a little... Uh, I don't know if it's tall enough. He probably needs, like, all four of them. Yeah, he'll try. Um, a raft of gremlin. Yeah. Wait, how many hit dice was the Death Knight, and how many is the Gelatinous Cube? The Death Knight was nine, base. Uh, and then the cube is... six. Ooh, I'm missing, uh... Table so that's 70 total, excluding T32 for... Well, the, okay, the definite Death armor AC is 0 or lower, so that's plus 1, yeah. so that's 10. So, that's 10. Uh, so 71. Next four things. Um, he has, uh, doesn't he have greater than normal hit points because he rolls D10 HP? I guess, yes. yeah. yeah. So, so it's plus 1. Plus 1 is 11. 11. So 72. Uh, high, high intelligence. Hit. Yes, very high. It's 18 or 17. So plus one again, or? No. Yeah. So 73. Uh, hit only by magical or silver? I no. Believe. No, 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 no. no. I think you hit him with normal, yeah. Yep. Uh, invisible at will, nope. Level two or lower spells, or no, level three or greater, so plus two. Yeah, plus two. 75. Four. Magic resistance, nope. Missile weapons, nope. Multiple attacks, nope. Paralysis, nope. Uh, petrification. He possesses a magic item used against the PC, yep. Yep, so that's plus one. 76. Uh, no regens. Does he do 20 plus points of damage with a single attack? Well, he has two attacks that just kill you. So. No, that, I mean, those uh, are not attacks, no, those yeah. are spells. Technically not. There can... Isn't there a... I think that's it. Wait, um... Well, no, he has special magical attack form unlisted, right? Which is... Um... The, oh, he has fear in a five foot radius, mm -hmm. so that would be oh, weakness plus or fear two. plus two. Seventeen. Yeah. Seventy-eight. Forgot about that. Um, he uh, has magic resistance, seventy-five percent. So that's so what. Magic resistance is plus two again, so nineteen. So he's 18. he was worth nineteen hit dice. Wait, there might be more. Don't more. give up. <laughs> um, Keep them coming. I need them all. I'm I'm nowhere near leveling anymore. Yeah. Well, we're seeing at 80 hit dice currently, so gonna be a lot of XP. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we're wait 80. Yes. Did you add the Jasmus cube? Yes. Okay. That's why. No, I think that's it. Yeah, so what's and the, the cube, key? does he get any T32 things? What's the uh, base? Uh, uh, six. six. Cool, and then... He has no magic resistances. Um, it's immunity to a bunch of spells. So, 81. Um, does it have any paralysis, petrification, or poison? Or Swallow's Hole. I think it has a Swallow's Hole, doesn't it? Yep. That'll be plus two. I think so. Does it ironic? Oh, sorry, I missed the question. Can it swallow? Does it have a Swallow sorry, attack? I believe so, yes. Yeah, so 83. Um, um, I think that's it. Yeah, 83 total. For now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Alright, um, as I mentioned before, I have to go soon-ish, so do we want to yeah, keep going can... for like, or should we just... At this point, it's probably when we get out of the dungeon to, like, uh, this is probably yeah. the end of the, of the, the plenary player protection for the two of you, probably. Yeah, something like that. So this is probably when we get out and reconvene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Do we have any trouble exiting? You all make your way through the perilous pass of the dungeon, but come out on top. Well, some of us better than others. Mm -hmm. And that was Proof of Platinum episode 26. Uh, Can we do XP? Yeah.
This is going to be fun. Right. Um, 83 hit dice. So it is 16,650 total experience. Divided by 3. That's 150. Um, I did Detect Noise five times and I did the song once. Uh, detect Noise, all, you got all of those and uh, the song that did, did that come into play? Yeah, we yeah. made saving throws against the ghost. I mean, we failed them, but it's still... I failed play. them with a plus one, but yeah, and yeah, I used you, it. Yeah, you can have those. Uh, 200 each, 1200. Uh, and then 83 right, well, times 5. I'm 5k XP off leveling back to level 7. Um, I'm like 500 away from leveling. I'm so I'm not gonna roll a ten when I level up. I'm gonna lose HP. 100%. <laughs> yeah. That's the like that's the thing that pisses me off the most. Like the, the level is like it's fine. I'm so, at least I can get to level seven back. But any uh, recap it, XP? Doomed. Ah, uh, yeah, you get a hundred. So fifty per class, and then spell wise, I can present to you negative plane protection. Probably not. Um, flame blade times two, probably. Yeah. Cure moderate those. wounds, probably not. So it's gonna be two flame blades. Yep. You got it. All right. I do level in warrior, and let me Ooh. check. But I'm pretty sure I do not level in. Are you level six now? Yes. Well, you're the same, same. level as me. <laughs> yeah, I do level in warrior. I do not level in cleric. Yeah, I'm like 500 XP away from that. I lost 53,000 XP. Oh, wait, we got gold? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Gold was yeah. There. there was... Gold and gems. Big money. Yeah. You said it spilled all over the floor, filling the room. It spilled all over the floor. It's, it should be a lot. At least 200 and... Like... At least 300 gold, that's what I need. You do get 317 gold pieces out of that. Plus so the gems and jewelry. Wait, 370? 317, I think. 317. And, that's for and that is straight 1 XP per person, or do we divide by 3? No, 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 no it's, XP. One, it's 1 per person. Okay. Except for Ericsson, who gets, I believe, two? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that would put me up to seven. Seven. Nine, nine. Okay. Which adds. Any other, anything else that I need to write down for loot? Uh, just some gems. Uh, you can, you can just give it to Ericsson then for the gems. I'll just, I'll, I can take the gold and the, like, heavy stuff. Okay, there are three gems and a small lockbox that's opened, uh, containing a little bit of jewelry, some rings and some necklaces. Cool. Yeah. Um. Alright, I'm gonna go then. Okay, I level though. Um. Peace. See ya. Fun playing with you guys. Um, wait, I need to roll my hit die before you all peace. Um, Same. I need to do my fart skills as well. Alright, D10. Big money. Um, actually, it's D10 plus 1 divided by 2. Two HP, poggers. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I have a D6. One. Focus. Wow. Nice. Good rolls, good rolls. We got yeah. this. Um, I think I get another level 2 spell. 
Bard spell progression is trash. Yep, another level 2 spell. Alright, I get a weapon proficiency, I guess. Level 8. I think I get some points to spend on my mm. skills. Yeah. 15 points. Um. I don't really know what to spend those on. Um, I'm a dip. Um. But fun playing with you guys as always, and see you next time. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah. Right, have a good see one. Ya. See ya. Um, yeah, I'll just do my points and then I'm done. Alright. What do you uh, think you're putting them into? Yeah, well, I only have four skills, and they're all. Uh, climb Wards and Detect Noise are already high. Pickpockets yeah. and Weight Languages are useless. So. Hmm. Well, they have been so far. Yeah, um, I guess. I might just put all fifteen into climb wars and max it out. Sure. I think there's. Yeah. I think it can only go up to like ninety five or something. Yeah, exactly. It's ninety five right now. Yeah. Um, do I actually get anything at level eight? Like saves, maybe. Rogue saves. No, it's level nine. Cool. Then I'm done. Awesome. Well, again, it was fun playing with you. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see you next week. Yeah, see ya. Alright. Oh shit, Sam was fucking talking in the chat the entire time. Oh, he's gone now, it looks like. Uh... I think you ruled it just fine. All right. Ah oh, shit! I'm streaming on Enderal right now. Fuck. Not on D and D. Damn it. That sucks. All right. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Well. Uh, that was Prusy for Platinum episode twenty six. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. And yeah, now it's time to head out. See you guys later.